going on guys hey guys how you doing we are setting up the live video i told you guys we'd be doing this once a week mm -hmm. coming to you live so it's real mr marcel yep. and i have my co-host my star my girlfriend just to show <laughs> all on instagram yep. and we're gonna just be talking about if you can't see our shirts cash flow cash flow we're gonna tell you why it's so important what it is and how you guys can potentially earn some of it yourself all right just put a like up if you're watching let us know all right so wait you gotta give them a few time a few minutes to get some views coming <laughs> in the meantime i'm gonna tell you a little bit about ourselves i'm a real estate investor i currently invest in new york i invest also in jersey we do house flips this is my partner she helps me with my deals yeah. and what we do is we buy houses now so those signs that you see all the neighborhood. neighborhood yeah those yellow signs that's us yeah. <laughs> and um tell them what yourself. uh my name is Jashelle. i am a business owner you gotta catch all the cameras i'm a business owner i am an insurance broker I do homeowners insurance, so when we get our properties, I insure them. I do auto insurance, commercial insurance, business insurance, I do it all. The only thing I'm not supplying you guys with right now is life insurance, but I'm working on that, so, you know, stay tuned. All right, so, all right, let's get to the topic. Today, we're giving out one of these wristbands that you see us wearing. This one is from one of our businesses called Gold Billions. Yes. It says assets over liabilities. Yep. So if you want, just like, subscribe, follow. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, Instagram. Hi, Sharice. How you doing? One of the lucky winners will get one of these bands today. We're mailing them out and it's free of charge. Usually these things are five ninety nine. dollars That's how much we usually charge for this. Yeah. But we're giving it out free today. All right, so today, if you can see the board, we have the Quadrant. This is from Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad. It's a great book. If you haven't read it, read it. It's really good. We actually have it in our library over there. It's a cash flow breakdown of um, James Corey. James Corey. Someone just interrupted our live video. We're getting back onto it. All right. So, um, Rich Dad Kiyosaki, Robbie Kiyosaki talks about this. It's the um, quadrant cash flow, the cash flow quadrant. And yeah, it's a breakdown pretty much, and it tells you, it shows you every category and what qualifies each category so you can figure out where you fall into and and where exactly you belong <laughs> all right so we're going to start with e e is for the employee this is a person who's working a nine to five mm -hmm. this is if you even part-time even part-time <laughs> you go work and you work for someone else you get your paycheck and that's that you don't gain anything from the growth of the business or whatever the case may be it's just you do your job, you give your time, you get paid for your time, that's it. Okay. S is for? Self-employed. Self-employed is you own your company, but you work and you get paid from putting your time in. The same way as employees, it's just that you have a little bit more. You know, so this would be a good example of this is someone who has a gardening business and you're working directly in your business. So You're cutting a lawn, you're doing all that stuff. You're doing the work with the worker next to you. So usually people in this category need to expand their business, but what they're doing is they're not putting enough money or marketing in to get new clients, and they're afraid of the growing of their business. Yeah. She's laughing because right now she's currently <laughs> still in this quadrant, the S, self-employed. Self she owns her own business, has her own storefront, has her own employees, but she's still working in her business. I still go in, I, you know, I knock things out. I do have the freedom to leave and things when I want, and I have that flexibility, but I still have to put in all that extra work. I still, you know, have my long nights where I'm not leaving until 11, 12 o'clock because I got to get things done. So, so to get out of this is really point. marketing. You have to market and you have to understand that your business is going to grow. But to get it growing, you have to step out yeah. and you have to do more to get it going. You have to have it where you can be a B. In the B quadrant, this is the business owners. These are people who actually own the business and, and they, they don't, don't do, do anything. anything. <laughs> the only thing they do is they catch they ca they, they cast a check. <laughs> they cast a check at the end of the month and they make sure that everything is running smoothly. They want to make sure that <laughs> everything is not messing up. So that's pretty much what it is. And then the last one is the I which stands for investor. These are people that like I'm trying to do right now. We invest in properties. I put up the money and then I have other people who 
other partners who put in more money, and then we have a main partner who actually goes to make sure that people are doing what they're supposed to be, the people that we hire yeah. are doing the fixing properly. Right? Yeah, exactly. And this is the eye. So right now, most people are... But don't, wait, don't get us wrong. Investing is not just with properties. You can be an investor in a whole bunch of different things, you know, stocks, whatever your focus is, investing, and you're not putting in that physical labor that will qualify as a trap. Exactly, that's all investing is. And then, so this is the ES, this is where most people are, right? 95 of the population. As is Robert Kiyosaki breaks it down, it's kind of like the poor side and the rich side. So poor side is, poor. is employee and self-employed, so on and so forth. But the B <laughs> rich side, side is, is business owner and investor. This is where the freedom comes be. in. Yeah. You want to go here because it just gives you more, more freedom. It gives you cash flow, exactly what we're wearing here on our show. Cash flow, that's what you cash want. Flow. You want to get the cash flow. Yeah. It's all about the money, it's all about the income, it's all about you making money from not doing as much work. You don't want to be working forever. The bottom line is that everyone wants to retire at 60, but by the time you get 60, it's too late to retire. What fun are you going to have? You're really not able to do as much as you would like to do because it's too late. So if you do this properly, if you follow the steps that he talks about, which is learning how to invest your money. Go to Go Billions. We talk more about this at Go Billions. Yes, we have a free website that guys. teaches you guys we about investing. We even have investing. a free ebook. Check it out. It's a good read. If you have any kind of debt or anything like that. You guys can't see it. Boom. We have a free ebook. This is our ebook. It's the physical copy. It's 28 pages. It's a short book. Yeah. But we're giving it out free. You just go to GoBillions.com. And you, you sign up. read it, you know, on your way to school, on your way to work, on your lunch breaks, whatever the case is. Everything is on your phone. Once again, real Mr. Marcel, just to show, if you tune in for the first time, we are telling you about cash flow and showing you how to earn money now. Yes. Everyone wants to be rich, but no one wants to put in their work before. Yep. You got to read. You got to read. The book was a great book. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And in the book, he talks about the quadrant, which we're going over. E-S-B-I. This is the side you want to get on. Everyone needs to become a business owner and or actually investor. own it or an investor. And some people can do both. You can be a business owner and still invest in other people's mm-hmm. business. I'm not saying you have to do all the work. You just have to create the money and know how to pick the businesses to invest in and which ones are good. So all it is. So, you want to tell them more about cash flow? Really? <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to give you the secrets. I'm trying to give you all the information yeah, you out for free. She Rich, wants to charge. I do want to charge, but that's part of the, you know, investment. That's what this is business. for. It's a free class. So you tune in. Yeah. Throw us some thumbs up if you like the content. If you want more videos, give us a thumb up, a smile, comment. Let us know you're watching. Once again, real Mr. Marcel, follow us. Just, just give me all the information. But but we do want to just share our knowledge with you guys. That's the whole reason behind us doing Go Billions to give back, you know, share what we know, share our struggles, how we grew, and help you to grow the same way. You know, little learning curve, cut everything out so you get to the point, you get the good stuff quick and fast. Uh, You guys have any questions? You know, just send your questions through, ask us, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram. Go Billions, we have a, um, a chat that you can get on there, subscribe, and yeah. Okay, so more about cash flow now, right? Cash flow is money that is coming in every month. So if you're an employee and you're working, that That's money could be check. considered yeah. cash flow. That weekly, check that you weekly, whatever it is. considered cash flow. But what we do now, in as my real estate company, that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting investment properties that are giving me cash flow for my tenants. Mm-hmm. So what happens is I'm getting money every month, rent checks, um, Section 8 checks. Every month I get money and I pay off the mortgage, pay off the bills, I have to get paid on property. And whatever's and the- remainder... Is mine. That's cash flow. That's See, what you want to get. How we do you know, it, we work with each other. So he got the building. My business is in there. So I'm paying him his rent. You know, even though it's still coming out of our pocket, everything gets paid and that money still comes back to us. That's how you're supposed to do it. One shoot. hand feeds the other. Exactly. And it's all because we learned how to do it. It's, it's simple. Investing isn't as hard as everyone thinks it is, mm-hmm. but you have to know what books to read and what information a lot of people are afraid to get mentors and get tutelage from people you, know, you pay the money you get what you pay for exactly so if you don't want to if you don't want to do all the mistakes and you want to get a, a shortcut to life and a shortcut to success 
Read books, A, and two, get a mentor. Get a mentor who's going to teach you, who's been through this exact situation that you're in now, and who's willing to teach you how to do this. Because that's what, I didn't know about this quadrant before Robert Kiyosaki, even though I was becoming more of an investor thanks to one of my mentors, but I didn't know about it. So read, like, reading is key to any, everything. You're not going to get the knowledge if you don't put yourself in that position, so you're not going to learn a lot of things off of TV. Books have all the knowledge that you're ever going to need. So pick up a book or go to the library, find whatever subject it is that you're interested in, and read. Just keep reading. <laughs> keep More reading. Sideways, so we can focus on all the kids. <laughs> we're streaming from Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram right now, so we're like all over the place. If our eyes are moving, we are looking at you guys, but it's just so many cameras and stuff going on, we have to try to focus. Um, so, like I was saying, so with an investment property, this is why I love real estate. This is why I love real estate cash flow. If you see the shirt again, the shirt <laughs> actually has apartment builders in it. This is from our own brand. We own this clothing. Um, it's not a brand that we're selling yet or releasing yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. Check us out in 2018. Maybe 2018 we start selling these stuff. We don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. But um, the reason why I love it is because you can have a physical property. You're able to rent it to other people and still make money off of it. It's great. It's Amazing. like you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you do. You have to find a property. Well, get a property manager, right? After you get your property, get a property manager, and you don't have to do anything. But no, even you no, can't. Don't listen to that. You still have to. You still have to have someone who knows what they're doing, and you still have to get read the books and obviously check on them because every month they're supposed to send you a statement that lets you know how much is going to bills, how much is going to water, how much is going to fix well, up the that property comes and stuff with like that. Managing your things, you always have to, as a business owner, just as a person, you have to be able to manage everything that you're doing. You have to be organized. That is one of the biggest parts of being successful. If you can't organize and be on top of your things, your tasks, everything is just going to fall apart. So if you have somebody in control of your properties, you have to be able to manage them at the same time. But you need to find somebody that you don't have to be on top of. Because exactly. it's like you're managing your own You don't want to micromanage because once exactly. you start micromanaging, you put yourself back in this S category, which we do not want to be in. You want to be in this B category because then you actually own the business and you're studying the books, but you're not micromanaging. So you're allowed to go have fun. You're able mm -hmm. to do the things you want to do. And this is all possible with cash flow. The way to success is cash flow. That's the only thing that matters. And even more importantly, it's not, you just don't want to have cash flow and it turn out to be a negative cash flow. Mm -hmm. You want to have positive cash flow. Let me throw that out there. Positive cash flow. You need to have your assets over your liabilities. So pretty much your assets are paying for everything. You're investing, you're, you know, if you're, you're doing investing in homes, that monthly mortgage, the monthly rent that you're taking in is paying for your mortgage, it's paying for your gas, your lights, all your utilities, then you have that extra on the side. Your assets have to be able to pay for everything. You're investing pay for your car, your personal car, your mortgage for your house, your bags, your shoes, your clothes, whatever the everything. case is. Everything. You want to make sure that your assets are paying for it. So this way it frees income up. You want to have free income to... Have fun with it. You shouldn't use your own money to have fun or to pay your stuff. You just use other people's money. That's what I love real estate about. <laughs> it's true. You use other people's money. The money that the tenants are currently giving me to buy, to pay for rent, I'm using that to cover the mortgage, and the rest of it, I use it for whatever I want. Because if you invest properly, you always have a profit. A lot of people, the, the whole thing about the housing market and why everyone was afraid of real estate was because everything crashed, but it was because people were investing incorrectly. Like my mentor, Sharif, I'm not going to say his last name because I don't want y'all to go follow him. It's my mentor. I'm not sharing. But like he said in one of my Snapchats, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know real Mr. Marcel. In the Snapchat, we had a talk about it when we were in Jersey after looking at another property you were there. Mm -hmm. We had our camera crew behind us and everything like that. And it, in the video, he goes, he says, Malcolm, do you know how the housing market crashed? I was like, yeah, everyone was invested in real estate. Everyone thought, oh, my God, it's going to blow. This thing is doing good. But what happened is it popped. A bubble pop. Same thing that's happened in Bitcoin now. Grows Everyone, and grows and grows until eventually. Eventually, the investors take out their money and people who don't know what they're doing leave it. So everyone was investing. Everyone thought houses are going to go up because what? Houses appreciate. Mm -hmm. So that means they appreciate means they go up in value. Mm -hmm. You buy it for 50000 It goes up to 60000 70000 right? So houses appreciate. That's one. And then two. Oh, still good? Yeah. And then two. 
What's the other thing that it goes up? <laughs> Forget in the video. I'm forgetting my own topics. <laughs> and, okay. It goes up in value. And then two, what happens is that, oh, tax benefits. There's a lot of tax benefits you get when you own your house or even if it's a rental property. You get to claim depreciation, a depreciation on the asset. So uh, the asset is something that's giving you money, but you get to claim part of it because as every every year the building deteriorates. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Are you guys are you guys still here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't see no <laughs> likes. Are you guys listening to the knowledge that we're giving you? We're telling you how to earn money now. If you now tune it in, we're talking about the cash flow quadrant. We're telling you how to earn money now. Invest, learn, gobillions.com, go to cash flow, cashflowallproperties.com. That's my Website where if you guys have abandoned houses or any houses that need fixing, you can Marcel Real Estate Investments, Diverse Coverage Brokerage, if you have a property that needs insuring. We're telling you, we're giving yeah. you the keys to success right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is actually our home office in our house. There's lights, everything. This is our house that we own. 25. I'm telling you. 24. <laughs> start investing, learn, learn now, and you'll be more successful. Oh, we here. <laughs> I see the comments. I'm seeing the comments. I see some thumbs up. I love the book. My grandma gave me that. Oh, yes, yes. I'm telling you. It's a free book. Why not? All right. So I'm um, going back to what we were talking about. All right. So what happens is all these people invest in this thing. And they do not know about it. They weren't looking for properties that were making actual money. Mm -hmm. What I mean by actual money is when you invest in an apartment building, you get something called a pro forma, which shows you the income and the gross income, the net, all this other things. And it shows you. Yep. You're right. That's what we should do for the next video. Maybe we should show them an actual performance for one of the buildings that we're actually looking to buy. We're actually investing in new buildings. This is not bullshit. We actually do this stuff. We actually invest. Everything that we do, we're trying to just educate you guys on it so you can do it too. Our journey is success. Right now, we're not even as successful as we want to be. We still have bills and stuff like that. So we're still learning. Right now, our assets are not paying for all of our liabilities. But, you know, it's, we're getting there. Our journey to success. That's what we're going to do a blog. That's it. We're going to do a blog. It's going to be our Stay journey soon. to success. Stay tuned. If you're watching, make sure you comment. Like, let us know. Yeah. So, our YouTube channel is coming out soon. No soon. other business. Real YouTube Mr. Marcel already got a YouTube. She's she trying to do another one. I don't know about that. Too, too many videos. I don't know. Too, I got too many cameras. Uh, I wish you guys could see all the camera people here. It's ridiculous. I feel like I'm in a real studio right now. We are. <laughs> So, okay, getting back to it. So, the topic that we're talking about is cash flow. We're explaining the real estate market and why it busted. So, all these people are uh, investing. They're putting money into these houses. They want to buy properties. Mm -hmm. Properties that were only worth $300,000 mm -hmm. started selling for four hundred, six hundred thousand. dollars $600,000. Now, Everyone was excited. Everyone wanted to get into real estate. I don't know if you guys can remember around that time, there were so many TV shows about real estate, about investing, about doing this. Everybody knew about investing into properties at that point in time. Exactly. Everyone's a guru, but they're not showing you their books. They're not showing you that they're actually doing it. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm waving this around looking all crazy because I want to give this out. I honestly want to give it. I don't know if you guys saw my last live. We actually gave a wristband out. It was $5.99. I think the wristband we're selling these wristbands for. We gave it out free. We shipped it, everything. So whoever comments, likes, and shares, we'll get this wristband. We're giving it out. As you see, we're still wearing them. There's one for the real estate, one for gold billions. Buy it, rent it, sell it, profit. Assets over liabilities. Real Mr. Marcel. Yep, the yep. logos are over here. Look. Got the boards. You can't see the board. Oh, you can't <laughs> see the board. Oh. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Real I quick. I it over there. My phone can't see. Oh, what you got? I'm telling you guys, we, we really do this. This is not bullshit. This is how we earn our money. This is one of the ways that we actually earn. She actually is an insurance brokerage that owns her own company now. Mm -hmm. She's 24. Front, she owns employees. a storefront. I have it all. I'm telling you, this is the way you earn. The way you become successful is from learning from other people mm -hmm. who are doing what you want to do and who are doing it now. Find a mentor, somebody who's been there, done that so they can tell you everything that they've done so you don't have to do it too. Cut the learning curve. Exactly. This is all that it's about. Do you, do you, can you just go to the library and just pass me um, um, one of my business cards and get one of your shelves? Yes, please. See? Um, okay, so going back to it. So all these people are investing into the, the market. They're, they're putting their thing. Um, they're putting all this money into it. Oh, hold on, guys. We're trying to get you yes, the so cards right these now. These are our cards, guys. So, just so you don't think we bullshit. Coverage. I'm going to try to get it every camera. Did I see that? Yeah. Look at that. Find this fee. If you yeah, find me a property. I'm doing the back. 
if you find me a property that um, that's a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. If you find me a property, if you find me a, can I tell you? You gotta find me a property that is that is that needs to be fixed, needs to be rehabbed, or something like that. Thank you, Dylan. And then what we're doing is we'll fix it as long as we can. Give me the owner's information. Let me talk to the owner, and at closing, I will write you a check personally for a thousand dollars. That's that's how we do it. That's the thing. The property has to close, though, guys. Yeah, it has to close. Yeah, a lot of people well, give hey, me my leads. grandma want you know my grandma want to sell her house, and she don't actually want to sell her house, and you spend a thousand dollars. Everyone wants to give leads, but you gotta wait till closing because we have to actually close on the property so we can pay you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so all these people are investing, they the throw money into this property, and the property is only worth. Three hundred thousand, but everyone's paying six hundred thousand, and it's going up. They're getting money from the taxes. That um, I think there's something in Australia where they was giving a tax benefit. Like, oh, don't worry. Um, if it doesn't make money, you'll make money. Yeah. When, when tax, when tax time. Tax season. That was everything. Tax season. You don't make money back. No. It makes no sense. Like now, thinking about it, you guys can all we can all agree that it makes no sense to buy a property that's not worth its value. You're buying something. You buying same. Let's say. You buy a woolly, right? Twenty five cent woolly for anybody who doesn't know it's a twenty five cent store. That's a New York term. Right? She's, she's showing you where we're <laughs> from. New York. You buy a twenty five twenty five cent drink, right? And turns out you pay a dollar for it. Why would you pay a dollar for that when you could pay a dollar for a dollar twenty five for a spray? We can't. Well, a dollar for Arizona. Would you pay that? I wouldn't. Exactly. Would. So that's exactly what was happening in the real estate market. And then what happens is all of a sudden it corrected itself. Boom. Banks stopped lending so much because the banks started to realize it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And they was like, wait, wait, these people don't have the money to pay it back because the property is not worth this. And down goes the market. Crash. So, that being said, what I'm telling you is the biggest thing to do. Oh, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just trying to give people information on cash flow. I'm trying to give information on cash flow. This is our shirt, a new brand. That my, we might start selling these. I don't know. This is actually an apartment building in the shirt. If you guys can't see, this is an apartment building. Get up. The show has one too. That's the <laughs> female so one. Oh my gosh. We're giving you information. This is free information that we're just giving out to people. We're in our home office. This is Robin Kiyosaki. Rich Dad, I don't know, something. I don't know. Can she sit down? This is Rich Dad, Robin Kiyosaki's quadrant i'm telling you guys this is information better tune in yes i see the likes thank you guys we appreciate it thank you youtube thank you we see you guys all right so the key to success is what what is the key there's so many different aspects that make up success i don't know if we can just say it's one key my key is two different things exactly. I, I, honestly my key is organization focus determination it's just so many just so many different things there's so many different things. If you guys have ever seen any of our presentations, each each time you speak, it's a different key. So that's right. There's there's no one key for success. That's what I'll say. There's no one key. Don't listen so to anyone who else, says there's this one thing that you need to do if you want to become successful. It's really not. There's not. It's just so many different things and so many steps to do. But the first thing I would say is get a good book. Rich Dad Poor Dad's a great book. Education. Education. And it doesn't have to be school education. You don't have to sit down in a classroom to become successful. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not pro pro school against school. It's just it is what it is. There's people learn in different ways. You can learn in a classroom better than you can learn outside, and there's people who learn better outside than they can learn in the classroom. Just education is key. One of the keys, though, like you have to be educated in your field and what you're doing. So one, nobody could tell you, oh, hey, spend 25 cents on this and you get, you know, whatever, whatever. But then, then oh, you know, that's not true. Like, you the have to be able to call bullshit when it's bullshit. So we're talking about real estate today. Um, next time, we'll, we'll actually show you how to maybe ARVs and stuff, how to evaluate a wholesale deal, mm -hmm. which we talked, to, I talked a little bit about this on my YouTube, but we're going to come back and try it on a live. Um, so yeah, we'll focus more on um, investing, the uh, home investing, building investment side of things. And you can actually um, do a quote too. We can try yeah. to combine no, that. I love my quote. She can give you a quote. <laughs> so if you need insurance needs, follow just a show, make sure real Mr. Marcel yeah. here. And um, when, I'll do a quote for the property that we're going to be giving you the ARVs and the comps and everything on Ooh, next If you time. don't know what that is, that means you need to tune in. This is learning how to 
invest real estate investing more specifically i love stocks i love bonds bitcoins are good too and everything but for me it's real estate i love having a hard asset something that i can physically touch and know it's mine and i love collecting checks every month Ching rent checks are my favorite section H tenants. I love you. <laughs> Please just make sure you pay on time your portion of it. And if you once again, if you have any properties in your neighborhood that look like they need to be yeah. fixed up or they're abandoned, you know someone financial oh, needs. Sorry, if you need any, if you know someone who's like, oh my god, I need to sell. Um, this house is horrible. Please feel free to call me. My number is five one six. Five zero zero three nine seven seven. Once and again, if you guys need an insurance quote, please feel free to call me. My number is three four seven five six one four nine four four.